I'm going to show you a fragment of a yoga pose called Gardasana, which means eagle pose. And I'm assuming it means that because of the, the wings, shape of the wings and so on. But it's one of the absolute best poses for a muscle inside the shoulder blade called subscapularis, which in fact is an internal shoulder rotator. Um, but it also has a fantastic effect on the very upper part of the upper back and some muscles around and behind the shoulder blades, which you simply can't get any other way. This is what it looks like. I'm going to swing my arms across like this and catch one arm above the other. I'm just going to turn side on so you watch the sequence from here on. I then reach up and reach the fingers around the back of the wrist like this and pull the wrist down to the elbow. Now I'm going to turn and face you again to show you what that looks like. You can see how I'm holding the arm here. And notice I'm going to open out the held arm so that the elbow is more open than 90 degrees. I'm going to turn and face you now. And from here, the arm that I'm holding, I'm going to press away from the midline of the body, like so. That's what stretches the internal rotator because this is external rotation. Now the contraction is I'm going to press the held arm back to the midline of the body, which I'm doing now. For a count of five, I stop. I breathe in, I make sure that the elbows are still opened out at 90 degrees and then I take the arm further away from the midline like that and that's what stretches the muscle inside the shoulder blade. Now I'm going to turn away from you and show you with, by adding some little slumping and twisting movements like this, I can stretch all sorts of muscles across and above the upper back and then if I lift the arms up like this, I can stretch all sorts of muscles on the outside of the shoulders as well. And now I'll show you what that looks like from the other side. Just release that arm, give it a bit of a shake, and then catch above the elbow like this, reach up. You might need a hand to help you hold your own hand, so a partner could be helpful here. Face away from you to show this angle. We're opening the elbow out past 90 degrees and then we're going to press the arm away from the midline of the body. Now, you'll notice that I'm holding my shoulders still. When a lot of people do this exercise, they do this. They actually twist at the waist. Don't do that. Instead, press the arm away from the midline of the body like that. So it's actually a shoulder movement. Then press the held arm back to the midline of the body like I'm doing now. Stop, breathe in. And on a breath out, go further. Notice that the elbow angle is out, open past 90 degrees, and if I turn and face away from you, we'll just repeat those little twisting movements which feel so nice in the upper back, and then lift the arms up above your shoulders like this and twist around a little bit as well. And then let the arms go. And I normally find just by giving a bit of a shake and a shrug like this, it makes everything feel completely comfortable. No, no exercise will make your upper back feel as good as this one does, so try it, you're going to love it.